So good morning, welcome back to another video. I am in East Devon today. I've started in Honiton, I've gone up over Gittisham Hill. I'm now in Ottery St Mary and I'm heading for a 33% climb. I've got about 75k to do today. I've got Solcombe Hill at Sidmouth, which is the official climb number 12. And I've got a couple of others as an X climb ball lane or something. Um, so there are 1700 meters of climbing in today's route. Um, it is very windy. There is rain forecast. The weather's not very nice at all. I'm struggling to hang on to the underpass at the moment. <laughs> Coming down here was quite scary, but we're going to get it done. It should be quite scenic, but 33% again. What am I doing to myself, eh? There is a method to the madness and all this climbing. I'm trying to find my climbing legs for the summer. And obviously, climbing is the best way to get some climbing legs. I shouldn't have started filming up this hill. Maybe it's cause we are Got time and we're wasted Got no plans for the night So far I still haven't found this climb. I've done 21k and 475 meters of climbing and i thought it was supposed to be in sidmouth after about 25k because i axed the first 10k so <laughs> it must be soon i am cacking myself already i love how you look at me feeling like nothing to lose can we stay here tonight because i don't want to go i know the tension's gone now and that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep pushing it wide Oh, we might have found it because it goes up there We can't get lost in time But don't you wanna do it all again Start going with it in my mind Oh, isn't it? I mean, it was steep, but it wasn't 33% steep I was just starting to think It's nice, Devon It's not blowing me away yet that climb, that view, is starting, and now I'm excited. Sun is shining, wind blows through my hair. The car is moving fast down the freeway to anywhere we are going somewhere new tonight. That was briefly Sidmouth. I'm now just about to go up Solcombe Hill, which is number 12 on the official climbs. Uh, Dean said to me that he has in the past had to walk up it, so I don't know how easy this is going to be, <laughs> especially my track record of walking up steep hills. I don't know what happened to the 33% climb, it's just disappeared somewhere, unless I've got it later on in route, which would be a disaster. If I was a story to be told, and I would say it all. a fire a burning light and I would break into the night come to me come tell me how I'm wired that was a tough climb uh, I might as well have walked speed was going for what seems like ages. I just had to pull over because it's on a really steep bit and a car wanted to get past but it just keeps going up. It's not even an official climb. The road surface is dreadful. But the views back to the sea are amazing but uh, it's be fun clipping back in now. <laughs> I just had to check on the map to find out what happened to 33% climb and I think I went down it as opposed to coming up it. Uh, the bit where it's a 20% I think that was Chimeway Hill. So damn. Um, that might have happened when I cut off the um, beginning of the route. I think it might have rerouted me and take me the wrong way. So, oh well. But that's where we're heading up there. Doesn't look that steep, does it, on camera? <laughs> Believe me, it is.
Well, that's a lovely road as well, and avenue of trees. Although that wind was absolutely howling from the left, every time past an exposed bit, it really wanted to whip you off the bike. I don't know how strong those winds are. That bit of road was pretty incredible. I enjoyed that descent. And look at the weather now. I uh, oh, completely put my trust in the weatherman this morning because when I set off this morning, it was absolutely hammering it down. The drive down was in a horrendous storm. And I'm there wondering, oh, what am I doing? Questioned my sanity a few times on the drive. Anyway, there's some lovely snowdrops there. What a valley. Uh, I'm going to have something to eat and we're going to tackle this next climb, I think. Right, so I'm having a bit of a day of it. The uh, microphone won't work today. The, uh, it doesn't seem to like the memory card for some reason. So I've got to figure that out. On the windiest day that I've been on for a long time where I need this mic and I haven't got it. <laughs> that last climb was the 33%. In fact, I saw 35% at one stage uh, because I haven't got anything to record with. <laughs> uh, I've also broken two cables on my camera as well. So microphone I'm relying now on just on this camera and it's not going to be the greatest audio on the way back in though but we're at the next climb yeah this one is called ball lane this is one of the x-list climbs uh the other one i it said roncom lane at the top i don't know what it was but it was ridiculous uh of all times to have a police car follow you up the hill <laughs> but there we are i've now done 48k i've done 1340 meters of climbing in about two hours something or other so <laughs> not long to go we have some uh, flapjack as we get to the top of this hill. a massive descent down into Branston so obviously we've got to climb back out but that ball lane was brutal absolutely brutal as I found with most of the Exodus climbs now it's not so much that they're pretty climbs they're just brutal I don't know you know what else to say oh, I need something to eat
call it another climb <laughs> trouble is they're all so long and they're all really steep the 1900 meters in my legs at the moment with just 8k to go i've already had enough <laughs> this wind as well i'm going back into a headwind as well and that headwind has been brutal all day today so fair to say looking forward to a nice coffee now away without any rain today after the forecast because it was horrendous uh, especially when I was driving down it's just started to drizzle as I got back so just chucked everything in the car to get in to finish the video uh, but 2041 meters of climbing in the end which is <laughs> doesn't surprise me because it was up and down all day but what a great ride uh, started off through some mucky lanes but it did finish off um, brilliantly with some lovely scenery and some lovely views of the coast um, next week I'm off to Cornwall for the weekend, for a Valentine's weekend, so there will be a bit of cycling. I'm um, going to do a few more official climbs in Cornwall, and maybe a couple on Dartmoor. Uh, we'll see how the weekend goes. But, oh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I hope the audio doesn't ruin the video. <laughs> yeah, I just can't believe everything that's gone wrong today. Not after the last week, I thought I had all my bad luck last week, but hopefully, fingers crossed, things will be better next week. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.